What's up guys and welcome back to Project Z Garage. Today we're finally going to start working on the 350Z. It's been a minute. I know a lot of my friends and, and viewers have been asking about it and what's going on with it. It's been so long we haven't seen it and it's been in storage for most of the time. We've been doing a lot of uh, you know work to the motor over at Vinny 10 Racing. So I kind of had it left there as we kind of slowly found parts and pieces that we needed to add to it. As you can see, it's been sitting in my backyard right now for a hot minute. And we're finally gonna get it back on the road. I just got the, the license plates and registration and all that stuff. So it can finally be legally back on the road. So that's awesome. Um, we took it out uh, yesterday for a quick drive so we could put some gas in it because we've just been starting it up uh, just to warm it up over the past couple of weeks until we got the registration and everything and we found out that the clutch it needs to be adjusted it is a i believe a a dual clutch or dual plate clutch and it's just it's just uh grabbing way too high especially for me where i'm kind of tall and it's a small car so to for me to have to take my foot off the the carpet or from the ground to kind of fully release it I'm kind of awkward movement so if we can move that engagement point a little bit lower that would be a huge help with driving this car and making it uh, a lot more fun to drive now as you can see it's a mess back here it's we're under trees and everything um, my brother's back there doing something we have his uh, to, uh, 1997 Nissan Altima that's been there for I don't know how long which in a future video we're gonna see if we can get it started if it can start because we are probably gonna uh, end up don donating it or get rid of, getting rid of it uh, at some point um, we have so much work to do on this car as far as the exterior this interior needs to get a thorough cleaning but let's uh pretty much let's let's get to the whole uh point of this and uh let me get over there let me get some tools and let's start working all right guys so first thing we're gonna do today we're gonna work on adjusting that clutch now right now you don't need that many tools uh from my understanding uh just the pliers i believe it's a 12 millimeter i will double check that just now and a flat and star screwdriver maybe you might need it uh i believe normally if you remove this top part there's a screw under it but i mean this thing's come in and out of this car so many times i can literally just grab it and rip out this uh this footrest now so this piece turns and uh kind of locks it in place or, or it's supposed to screw it on I think but whatever so that's out let's move that out the way the next thing is that we're gonna have to get this side panel off uh, let's see I think we can get it out here just move this piece here let's pull this piece up There we go. And it's just a bunch of push clips that hold this in. Put that on the ground. Now what we're gonna be adjusting, let's see if you can see it. Is this fork right here? Let me move you guys down. So this fork right here is what we're going to be adjusting up to uh, take up the to make it engage a little sooner as you can see right now this thing it doesn't it, it's engaging all the way up here and it's so hard to push so we're going to adjust that a little bit now what we're going to have to do is back that nut off back there a couple of turns and what we're going to do is move it up maybe uh two or three uh threads um i think the max they they tell you to go is about four threads but we're gonna have to just keep uh adjusting it a little bit and then testing it adjust and test it just to make sure everything is correct now 
let me put you guys down for a second and let me get in there all right guys so it is a 12 millimeter that's what i used on that uh the lock nut to back it off a couple of threads and then we tightened it up just so you can see what it looks like uh, hopefully you can get a good view right there as you can see we, we did um, move it up quite a bit um i mean from what i've seen So what I've seen in other people's videos who've done this, they actually done it a lot more than what I have. Uh, so we'll see how this how this works. So what we're gonna do is before we put anything back together, um, we're gonna turn the car on, and I'm gonna see where it's gonna catch. Uh, now that we've we've moved that that uh, that uh, uh, nut further back, and we've uh, adjusted it a little bit more now. I mean, just from pushing on it with my hand. We do have a little play now on top and it feels like it's catching down here more so that's good but uh what we're gonna do is let's test it out and see how well it's working um we might have to back it out a little more if we feel that it's too much play but normally they say that you should have a little bit of play in it so we'll see all right guys so before we test it, let's get a cold start and let's see how what you guys think about how the Z sounds now. So we adjusted it a little bit more. I backed it off a little bit more just, just to be safe. Um, Cause you don't want to go too much one way or the other. Uh, I kind of, I'm pretty happy with where it is. I mean, we're not going to know until we actually drive the car for a little bit and see if I'm really happy with the engagement point. But the engagement point is definitely lower than where it was before, which is great for me. Cause now I don't have to like angle my leg out sideways to uh, get the clutch to fully engage. Um, as you can see where the clutch pedal is now let me just lay it out the way it has a little bit of play as you can see i'm barely putting any pressure uh on it before i couldn't do this so i think the clutch was way too high because it would it, it literally would engage in this last 20 percent of the pedal travel to the top that's when it would engage before now it's engaging down here where is where i want it to be so it feels really good it's a twin disc 
I believe it's a twin disc. You know, I'm gonna have to confirm that. But uh, it's uh, it feels really good. Um, again, we're just gonna have to drive. This is all uh, you know, trial and error. So you're gonna adjust it a little bit, test it out, and you gotta find out uh, where is the correct uh, positioning for your driving style and the way you want it to be as far as engagement. Now, what we're gonna do is put everything back together. Uh, I think we're, I think we tightened that up. So all you really need to do for this job is a 12 millimeter spanner and a pliers. Um, I actually switched over to a long nose pliers and made it a little bit easier, but you need something with some good teeth to, to grab onto those, uh, those uh, uh, grips on that, on that shaft so that when you turn it, it actually turns it. Cause at first I could have kind of turned it a little bit by hand but uh, at the, it gets tight and then you need to tighten it up further. So let's uh, snug up that lock nut behind it just so it doesn't move as you're driving and then we'll put the rest of the interior back together. And uh, pretty much that uh, concludes this uh, quick video of how to adjust the uh, clutch on a, this is a 2005 350Z uh, touring model. Um, if there's any questions guys feel free to put a comment down below if you guys have any input let me know uh definitely follow me on instagram at project z garage also on twitter same thing project z garage also a lot of alsos but we did start uh getting uh shirts made so i'm gonna put the link down below so this way uh you guys can also if you want to uh, pick up a Project Z Garage uh, t-shirt or sweater or whatever you want. Um, and I think we're going to call it a day. Uh, there is some other things I want to address. Uh, one of them in the next video is the airbag light. Uh, we took the seats in and out uh, the last time and now we're getting like a flashing airbag light. I did find a procedure where you don't need a computer hooked up to the car to, to clear it. So we're going to try that out and see if it works. So stay tuned and we're going to have more videos on the Z. Take it easy guys and we'll catch you in the next one.